representing our 13 original colonies. The snake has no eyelids, always vigilant against tyranny. The snake has no visible weapons, but hidden out of sight are shark fangs and deadly venom. The snake is not an aggressive creature, it's just hanging out in the sun eating mice. If he feels threatened and a threat comes by him, he warns by rattling his rattles. Don't tread on me. If he does have to attack, he's relentless and he will not let go until he wins. I love this flag. I've got this flag hanging in the front window of my business. I've got this flag hanging in front of my home. I even got a little one like this in my truck. So when the police officer stops me at a roadblock, sticks his head in the window to smell if I had a beer, or if I'm holding my cell phone, or if my seatbelt's on, or just to say, papers please, I hold out my flag and say, don't tread on me. Everybody here should go online and go to the library and read about the history of this great flag and what the patriots endured fighting against tyranny for freedom and liberty. And when you're at it, study up on the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, and the Bill of Rights, and arm yourself with knowledge. Go out and get yourself a Don't Tread on Me flag and show it proudly. And tell all your friends why it represents freedom and liberty. And please, teach your children, because they are not learning about it in school. This flag needs to be part of our movement. It is our flag. It can't be copyrighted. It can't be trademarked. It is our flag. And what a movement it is. It's a great day. There's a lot of motivation and a lot of enthusiasm. I am pumped up. But where do we go from here? If we go home and crack open a beer and punch the wall and kick the cat, Oh. Nothing's going to be done. Oh. We have to continue to write and email our representatives and our legislators and demand accountability. Will they listen? Maybe, but I doubt it. But I'll tell you, they would listen if we were 100,000 strong. Wouldn't it be nice to see 100,000 people waving don't tread on me flags this summer here back in Albany for a massive rally at the Catholic Steps? There are 30 tea parties going on as I speak. I say let's get all the tea parties that are going on right now to get 100,000 people waving don't tread on me flags at the Capitol, demanding to take back control of our government, our dollars, and our lives. I don't have the answers. I don't know how to take back control, but with 100,000 people, I'm sure we will figure it out.